Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 amazing anime mods for Minecraft. Because this video isn't mod ranking videos, I'll also be covering some new mods that may not be as great, but are still worth knowing about. If I've missed out on any great mods, please feel free to comment below so that I can include them in my future videos. Without further ado, let's dive into the video, and if you enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. The beginning of the video, there is a data pack that I would like to share with you. It recreates Shinran from Dragon Ball and adds an interesting element to the game. Let me explain how to summon Shinran. Firstly, you need to collect 7 Dragon Balls scattered across the game's map. Once you have found them, use a pickaxe to dig them up and then drop them in the same location. This will summon Shinran, so you can enjoy this exciting feature in the game. When you summon Shinran, an orange beacon light will appear. After a while, Shinran will emerge from below and fulfill your request. Once Shinran appears, you will receive a book in which you can write your desired command. As an example, I will write the command I want in the book. It is natural to want Shinran to be big, but keep in mind that it may cause your PC to lag and slow down. Shinran was able to easily fulfill my request for 100 netherite as you can see. However, I would suggest asking for a permanent 255 strength effect instead. This will help you defeat anything in Minecraft with just one hit. The second mod is Epic Sanji which is an upgrade from the Epic Fight mod. This means that it uses the same operating mechanism as the Epic Fight mod, but with an added weapon that allows you to fight like Sanji from one piece. Since Sanji only uses his hands for cooking, in this mod, you can use your feet to fight just like Sanji. This mod will be divided into two types. The first type is for fighting before the time skip period, while the second type is for fighting during the new world period. In addition to fighting moves, there are also acrobatic skills to avoid enemy damage. I fought Enderman without losing any health, which is why these moves were created. However, if you apply it to aggressive mobs that attack quickly, you should not apply this mod because you may suffer a lot of damage. Sanji's rule number one is not to hit women so I will use a gun to kill this creeper. In the next mod called One Piece Weapons, you can transform into Edward Newgate and wield his skills and powers in one piece. To acquire the physical abilities of the Whitebeard Godfather, you must consume the Gura Gura no Mi Devil Fruit. Let's first discuss the previous weapon he used, Murakumajiri, a sword that can slash straight or in three lines. However, its damage is not significant as the mod has been adjusted to avoid it being too overpowering in Minecraft. The first skill of a Paramecia type Devil Fruit that allows him to cause quakes and generate powerful shockwaves. The punch will defeat the enemy in a straight line where it is aimed. The second skill is the ability to create a shockwave on the ground, which causes damage to nearby enemies. The third skill is the power to summon a tsunami effect. Finally the most powerful skill combines both the shockwave and the tsunami to inflict massive damage to all enemies in the surrounding area. The Shingeki no Kaijin mod for Minecraft allows you to experience the attack on Titan anime. You can play as Eren fighting against Titans or choose to become a Titan and battle against humans. Firstly, let's talk about the walls and attack on Titan. You can create them using wall build. There are two types of walls in the game that you can choose from to protect yourself and avoid Titans. There are two options available in the game. If you choose to be a subject of Aimer, you can become any Titan and select Ackerman to survive and fight against Titans. Personally, I prefer the first option because I don't want to be killed by the girl I like. Let me give you a brief introduction to Ackerman. While playing the game, you will have the opportunity to create costumes, tools, and weapons that you have seen in the Attack on Titan movie. These items will not only help you run faster and be more flexible in combat, but they are also powerful weapons. When combined with a gas tank, they truly exert their full effect, helping you fly and jump just like characters do in the anime.
In the overworld, you may encounter various types of titans with different genders and appearances, but all of them share a common weakness. The back of their head is their weak point, which can be exploited by attacking it with a sword to defeat them instantly. If you choose Subject of Aimer, the first thing you need to do is die. It sounds a bit funny, but it will help you own a tool that turns you into a titan called Injection Chance, and when you click on it many times, it will turn into one of many injection carts with titan names that you can turn into. If it's not the correct titan you want you need to recreate the world. Once you've found the titanium you want, all you need to do is use the knife to hurt yourself, and then use the injection cart. Then just press the transformation key in the settings to transform yourself into a titan. Currently, I am transforming into the Armored Titan, a titan that can explode to destroy my targets. Let's consider another perspective, when you transform and use the Armored Titan's skills. The second titan I will discuss is the Beast Titan. It has a bushy appearance similar to that of a chimpanzee. The titan possesses the ability to throw objects over long distances, specifically rocks. Another skill it has is the capability of dropping titans from the sky and causing explosions upon impact. This skill is particularly useful in combat due to its wide area of damage. The colossal titan will be summoned next to the wall, giving you an idea of its immense size. It possesses two skills, stone throwing, which is a superior version to that of the beast titan, as it throws numerous big stone blocks. Furthermore, it has the ability to explode and knock away enemies within a vast range. Although relatively small compared to the size of the Colossal Titan, it is still a formidable opponent. The fifth mod is Anime Brawl, which is currently in beta version. This mod allows you to transform into characters from various anime universes, making it a suitable choice for those with a wide range of anime interests. With this mod, you can transform into popular characters like Naruto, Sasuke, Crocodile, Blackbeard, Donut and 50%. Each character in the game has four different skills that are similar to the ones you can see in anime. For instance, you can use Kunai and Raisingan throwing skills just like Naruto. Though the skill details are not too elaborate, you can choose from a variety of characters from different anime. And it's worth noting that this is just a beta version. When the official version is released, there will likely be upgrades in terms of skills and characters' appearances. Both Sasuke and Ace have unique abilities that they use to their advantage in battles. Sasuke uses Sharingan to strengthen his body and move more flexibly, while Ace utilizes the Donut Devil Fruit to wield powerful fire skills. However, the most powerful character in the group is Blackbeard, who has the ability to use the powers of two Devil Fruits, Yami and Gura Devil Fruit. Gojo on the other hand, has the ability to either suck enemies into a single point or launch long-range attacks that deal massive explosive damage. Coblemon is the sixth mod in the video, based on the popular anime Pokemon. It allows Minecraft players to experience the world of Pokemon, with pixelated shapes different from other mods. The gameplay is simple upon entering the game, you will receive one of the 24 starting Pokemon. As my channel is named Monkey, I will choose Grookey as my Pokemon. After selecting your Pokemon, it will appear on the left side of the screen, and you can summon it to watch or battle other Pokemon. Each type of Pokeball requires a different recipe, and the more difficult the recipe, the higher the success rate will be. However, the red Pokeball remains an irreplaceable symbol. Some trees in the game will yield apricorn, a common ingredient used in creating Pokeballs. In order to engage in a Pokemon battle, you must first select a Pokemon that complements your abilities and then press the challenge button. During the battle, you will have four options at your disposal. Fight, switch, catch, and run. It is important to use your moves and strategies wisely in order to prevent your Pokemon from running out of health. If you manage to reduce the opponent's health to a low level without depleting your own Pokemon's health, your chances of capturing the opponent's Pokemon will increase.
The seventh mod in the mod video is called HZNB's Naruto Shinobi Craft, which is considered one of the best Naruto mods for Minecraft. I spent 5 hours playing this mod and found some great jutsu to share with everyone. To become a ninja, you need to have shuriken and kunai, and then attack hostile mobs to take damage. Once you become a ninja, you will have ninjutsu and can choose one element release. You can use well-known jutsu such as shadow clone, Raisin Gan. Or Limbo Clone. Let's talk about the amazing ninjutsu in this mod. The first is Explosive Clay, which creates a large explosion over an area. The second is Scorching Rocks, which shoots a giant lava ball to attack enemies. However, my personal favorite is the 8th Gate, Gate of Death, used by none other than Might Guy. This skill allows you to attack enemies from a distance, dealing as much damage as mud are. Another powerful jutsu is the Great Annihilation, which helps you blow out giant flames. Next, let's discuss the fantastic recreation of Dragon Ninjutsu in this mod. Additionally, you have the option to use Raisin Shuriken for attacking or summon Hashirama Senju to fight in a stylish manner. However, please note that is quite large and may cause lag, making it challenging to see your enemy. Shibaku Tensei, Shibaku Tensei is one of the most powerful ninjutsu of the Rinnegan that you can use. By gathering a significant amount of chakra, you can create a massive ball with immense gravity that attracts everything within a 1 km radius, forming a colossal orb. This technique can absorb everything in its path, including dirt and stone. Once everything is sucked into a single point, it creates a massive earth with destructive power. When playing with friends, you have the option to combine forces and seal Karama into one of your own. However, since I am playing solo, I will be using a command to obtain it. As Karama's host, you have the ability to transform into four distinct forms, with the strongest being the Six Paths Sage mode. However, using this mode requires experiencing a long-term loss of control over your own body. Alternatively, you can opt for Karama's beautiful yellow body, known as the Karama Bijou mode. Those familiar with Naruto know the immense strength of Six Paths Sage Mode. The 8th mod is relatively easy compared to the others. Your objective in this mod is to collect the necessary items to win the hearts of various female anime characters, such as Nami, Hinata, Megumin, Ram, Ram or Nezuko. You will receive a whole book that teaches you how to impress these ladies. What's really cool about this mod is that it also refers to the hobbies of each character in their anime, like Nami's love for money and gems. However, Nami can be considered the hardest character to win over among all the beautiful ladies. After filling the love bar in the gift-giving section, you can use the ring to propose and make her your waifu. This way, you can have a powerful waifu team that can follow and protect you. If you're a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen, the Jujutsu Craft mod is a must-try. With this mod, you can access a variety of powerful techniques used by characters such as Gojo, Yuji, Megumi, and Sukuna. In my opinion, this mod has some of the best fighting NPCs among all anime mods. The NPCs are so skilled that it's almost like watching a fight between two human players. It's fascinating to see how they can use a wide range of techniques similar to what players can do. 
Personally, I found it incredibly engaging to watch them fight in the game. At the start of Jujutsu Kaisen, we see the Malevolent Shrine, a technique used by the series' main villain, Sukuna. This shrine attacks everything in the surrounding area. I wonder if there is a skill similar to this in Minecraft that could split the body in half. It would be an interesting addition to the game. There are two curse technique amplification blue and red. Both of them have stunning effects and cause great damage. What I appreciate about mods like this is the meticulous attention to detail and the intricate technical work that goes into them. Although it may not be a perfect replica of the technique as seen in the anime, it still makes it easy for players to identify and use the skill for its intended purpose. The Ripples of the Past mod is a popular mod for the anime Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. It allows you to choose one stands to fight with. Currently, there are six stands available in the mod. Star Platinum, The World, Hierophant Green, Magician's Red, Silver Chariot, and Crazy Diamond. Each stand has a unique skill, but they all share a common same known as Muda Muda. Most stands in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure possess the ability to stop time and attack their opponents during that time, which is highly advantageous. The power to control time is one of the most potent abilities. Additionally, some stands have unique skills, such as using fire or attacking from a distance. If you remain still for a while, you will see words appear above your head. To recreate the most authentic anime-like experience, use the resolve effect during battles. This will undoubtedly be a thrilling experience for all JoJo fans. Here are the anime mods featured in today's video. In part 2, I presented the mods that were requested by players. If there are any shortcomings or better mods available, I will cover them in future parts. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you again.